I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm too busy chasing money right now. Wipe it down, wipe. Super Saiyans and welcome back to my channel. If you have never seen my face before, have no idea who I am, and this is your first time at this channel, I'm gonna need you to scroll down and smash that subscribe button and click that bell the way you never miss a video. But for today's video, if you didn't already notice by the title, I am doing an updated shoe collection. My day one subscribers will remember that my last shoe collection was in 2018. That was two years ago, a bit of a bit of a minute ago, you know, if my calculations are correct. Yeah two years long time my shoe collection mostly consists of nikes and jordans but there are a couple pairs that are not nike or jordan so i'm gonna start with those and then we'll get into the we'll work our way up lower heat in my opinion to higher heat all right let's get into it the first pair of shoes i will be showing you guys today are these men's uggs the oogs you feel me dog <laughs> these super comfortable okay when i first got them these were all i would wear like i would throw on a hoodie and some sweats maybe a hat if i didn't feel like doing my hair and just you know throw these bad boys on and i was comfy but not cute at all at all next year okay so here i have these continental 80 adidas very uh long a shoe you know white elongates things and i already have a pretty long foot so i couldn't really wear these too often but yeah no they are they're 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 cute you feel me i worn them like twice i wore them once on my birthday and once to like hang out with my friend i think simple little shoe red and blue you feel me you guys will definitely see a lot of red in my shoe collection today yeah we gonna move on to the next shoe okay that was it for the shoes outside of nike and jordan now we're gonna get into the nike and jordans i'm just gonna work our way up Work our way up. The first shoe I'll be showing you, these Flying It Vapor Max. So a lot of people come in asking if these are workout shoes. They are not. Please do not use these for working out. They are for looking cute, okay? Do not work out in these, please. You'll hurt yourself, all right? But other than that, you know, they're, they're fairly comfortable. Um, Cool pair of shoes. You know, they're supposed to be white, but they're not. They're more, they're, they're more like gray or like a baby blue. Very expensive shoe as well. Nike, explain, please. Why do you make the Vapor Max so expensive? Like, these are probably worth more than a couple pair of Jordans I own. But, we're just gonna move on. Next, I have these foams. I do not remember what they were called, if they had a name. I'm sure they had a name, but I don't remember what they were. I didn't wear them a lot when I first got them. I wore them a lot when I had them for like a year, because I got these on my around my 17th birthday. I like the sea foam. I, I don't consider it sea foam. I consider it teal slash turquoise, because that's my favorite color, and that's what I roll with. As you can see, I'm kind of turquoise down i don't wear these a lot anymore actually i haven't worn them in a long time but where am i gonna go where am i gonna go where's the house there's nothing i can do but yeah so we're just gonna move on okay so here i have some air max 97s uh, these are like a really cool shoe to me like i like the rings and at first when i first was introduced to them i thought they were weird but like when i actually purchased a pair they look good look good on my feet you know i have nothing to wear with these so i only have worn them like twice and it did not match what i wore i wore black and gray but the gray didn't match so yeah next we have the volt air max 90s all right dudes let me tell you something about these shoes right here these are the most comfortable pair of nikes i've ever owned they're mesh they're built for comfort right and i actually went out and bought things to go with this because i love wearing them so much love the shoe love it nike a great job on these the next pair of shoes is these beach city eights as you can probably notice that was not the right sentence for that these are a bit worn because when i first got them these are my favorite pair of shoes because of the turquoise you feel me i look good in these i still look good in these once i clean them and restore them back to their former glory you know love this shoe and when i received them jordan eights were my favorite number of jordans at the time so i was psyched to get these i was really happy really happy we're gonna go to our next pair of eights these are the undefeated eights i believe these were also a really cool shoe when i first got them they're still really cool shoe but i still have nothing to wear with them because army green is not in right now we're going into summer they're not really selling army green clothing at the moment but you can never go wrong with some black never go wrong with some black 
dope shoe once again. And when I got these, my Jordan 8s were my favorite numbers, Jordan as well. So I, I didn't wear the crap out of these, but they are a little crease, so I did wear them a cool amount of times. Moving on, the Concord 11s. Really dope shoe. I find 11s to actually be fairly comfortable. I got them on resale, so I got them from Flight Club, and I abused them a little bit. I abused them, but I kind of cleaned them and got them back to the a, a little bit of the former glory. That's why they're not laced right now, because I had to take off the lace to wash them, and I had to scrub them, and I had to do them, I had to do, I had to do my thing. Since we're on the 11s, I'm gonna just go ahead and head to the brand 11s. When I got these, I did not realize how exclusive breads were at the time. This is the 2019 release, and they re release like every four years, so I don't know why they're so, you know, high and mighty, but this <laughs> it's a good looking shoe, you feel me? You dig? I did mention it's gonna be a lot of red in my shoe collection, so this is one of the red shoes. I won these in a raffle. I was really excited. I was really happy about this one. Let's move on. Let us move on. So here we have the what the fours. I had to put both in because they're different color waves, and I thought that was really cool, which is why I got them in the first place. But yeah, no, yeah, these are these are so cute. And once again, red and red, red, red and blue and black, but and gray, but you know, red. These are really pretty shooting me. Like when I got them, I really would wear them like everywhere. Like I wore them to work, I wore them to school, I wore them to class, I wore them to shop. You know, I was just wearing them, which is why they're a little crease. But they still look pretty good because I cleaned them. I I cleaned them. Yep, I cleaned them and I kept them fresh. I pride myself on how I upkeep my new, my newer shoes. Um, like the, any shoe that I get that I've gotten since October is in pretty good condition, if I do say so myself. Uh, uh yeah. The next pair of shoes is the Bread Falls. Now these, when I first got these. And I say that I know I say this for most of my shoes. When I first got them, it's my favorite pair of shoes. But this was like like a really, really, really cool shoe to me. Like I try not to wear them too often because you know the brands are supposed to be exclusive and they're really expensive they're on resale. But look at that. That's red and black. Like come on, it's my color. What was I supposed to do? Not wear them? But funny story about these. Um, I got these the same time I got the Concords. And and I got these for like $2.15, right? Mind you. They had just been released, so they were still in like retail stores. So I ended up, I bought them, I bought them, right? And then I went to Shoe Palace. They had them at Shoe Palace for like $1.90. I was upset because Flat Club is a no refund, no return type store. So I was really mad, but I am glad I kept them because once again, my color, you feel me, my size, I like them, I like them, I like them. Moving on, we got the red cement trees you feel me once again red an all red shoe and a jordan come on come on i had to get it i got it i got it i did but funny thing about these uh jordan threes run small because i got the kid size originally yeah my feet were like no bark bark nigga get me out of here and they didn't like the shoes my feet they didn't like them so i had to go back and return them and get a size seven in men's and yes i have big foot don't judge me but yeah you know it's, it's a little more roomy it's technically supposed to be the same size but it's not because a men's foot is not necessarily comparable to a kid's foot so yeah but you know i got them because they all red you feel me and i've only worn them like thrice once to work once to shop and i actually know twice that's it that's it these only really caught my eye because of the fact that they're red but what's funny is when they dropped the um the carolina blues i think they're called my dude i was mad i didn't get those because those are dope those are really cool but we're just gonna move on now okay so here here we have basically my pride and joy almost my pride and joy the fire red fives i was so happy when I got these and let me tell you a story I was sitting on the couch on my phone right scrolling scrolling on Instagram and then I got a notification from the Nike sneakers app it said that they had dropped it was like 5 in the, in the evening you know and normally shoes release at 7 in the, in the morning so I was like where er? click the thing got them and it said got them and then it shipped and then they're here I wore them once for a photo shoot gotta keep the bottoms nice and icy you feel me but no yeah this is this is really this is really it's really, it's really cute shoe and once again Red. But now we're gonna move to like I want to say my top tier, like my favorites in my shoe collections right now. These three pair of shoes. But bam, we have the pine green ones. This is the most uh, exotic color I have in my shoe collection besides like maybe the Volts. But no. But guess what? But guess what? But guess what? Do? But guess what? Do? Bam! They still got the red, and I still got the red lace. So I can switch them out. Let me tell you, ones are really, really comfortable. Like surprisingly, I could walk around in them for a really long time. I was walking around at work, I was like, hmm, 
my feet don't hurt. I ordered a shirt to go with this. It hasn't arrived yet. Really upset about that. Somebody said they were slept on, but they kind of sold out maybe a week after the week. Well, I guess that's that's kind of a long time for a Jordan. But they sold out maybe a week after. I was really happy we still had them, bro. I copped. I was like, uh-huh. But moving on, this is probably my favorite shoe in my closet right now. I don't know why. I could not tell you the reason, but dude. Dude, the UNC to Chicago ones. This was the last pair of eight and a halves. When I tell you, I almost cried. I almost cried when I got them because I was so like that's how much joy shoes bring to my life. I, I, I genuinely almost cried when I got these. Beautiful shoe. Brutif the baby blue is just so vibrant. And then once again so now we move into what i believe to be the highest heat in my closet right now brand new just got i just received him yesterday actually yo we gonna get into it let me just show y'all the shoe the unc patent blue chills now listen listen See how they're not laced? I took them out the box once. Like the, the bottom is so clean right now, I can lick it and not get anything. I'm not gonna do that on camera though, cause that's kinda nasty. But dude, this is like <laughs> my favorite pair right now, bro. I need to I need to I need to get a fit. I actually have a fit. I'ma put the fit on. I'ma take some pics. Shout out to, to, to Taylor for coming through with them platinum collection. Y'all can follow her. I was hurt. Because on resale, bro, they were like 400 bucks. I was like, oh, no. But then I found them. I found a good plug. I found one, and she gave them to me for like one, for like retail price. I was so happy. I'm going to put her, I'm going to put her stuff in the, in the description box. Because, bro, she came through. She came through. But that pretty much concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, and follow me on Twitter. You can also follow me on TikTok. I mentioned in my last video I made a TikTok, and yeah, so you can follow me on that too. I'm gonna start getting more active on there, but that'll be in the description box with my other socials as well. And um, yeah, let's uh, get me a 500 subscribers so I can do that giveaway. I have an idea of what I'm giving away now, y'all. Like, y'all look, y'all are, when I get it all together, Y'all are gonna be so happy. You're gonna want to get the giveaway going. Trust me. Trust me on that. Comment one of the videos you want to see me do down below. And just know I have some things in the works for you guys, okay? You're gonna thank me. You're gonna love me. I promise. Well, that's not a promise, but you know, I'm hoping. I'm gonna stop talking now. That's all that I have for you guys today. I will catch you at the next video.